Thank you. Bye. Thank you. All right, call the meeting to order. 605. Item one, citizens' time. Hearing say none. Item two, new business topics the chair did not reasonably anticipate would be discussed. Um, no, none. Anybody? All right, item three, old business discussion on sewer garage. Um, yes, we do have an update. Uh, the bids are going to be out or available for people to bid on um, on the 16th, and then a bid opening for that project will be November 6th. And I just do want to note that this phase of the project is just to do the shell of the building, so a later phase will do the build out for the interior. Oh, okay. Did they put, is there, go ahead. Did they put an anticipated value to it? Did you guys, in your bids? Or did you write it just open? Um, in other words, you guys set up target price typically enough. usually is an estimated yeah I want to say I'm actually not too sure if I am fours they go anticipated for just the show and then is it what we thought um, we'll find out yeah. I know uh, a lot of folks that are finishing up mine it's slowing down this season so maybe some hunger out there for okay for the I'll just steal prices uh, they had gone down they're still high but seems to have leveled up. I know the few uh, developers in town, I know it was a long lead time for the steel. Yeah, so yeah, mine was 20, uh, 18 weeks, which was down from like 36 weeks. Yep. And those things aren't massive columns and stuff. Okay. Yeah, so my question is uh, just that that was the shell only, right? Yep, so yeah, just the shell. That's what I was doing. Yeah, the concrete and then the shell. Yeah. Is Jake in the estimates um, for the project, I meant to ask you this earlier, is furniture included or no? No. Okay, because we, we did budget for some furniture. I just wanted okay. to, in looking at my budget, I wanted to see if that was in there, okay. Did, did we vote on getting new furniture? What's that? Did we vote on you getting did? new furniture? You did when you voted on the budget? <laughs> this was a, a BYOC, bring your own chair. <laughs> <laughs> Inflatable. Well, since the desk I currently have is broken in five different places. For all your chair. Uh, yeah. uh, all right. Uh, I, I and I program? Um, yes. So I have a contract for Wooded and Curran for the capacity project that's starting in November. Uh, sorry. Um, for you to sign, Brian. And that's what the first phase that the grant is going to allow us to start on investigative and design. And then they'll have a, a NEPA study done, and then construction will be after. Okay. Um, so the capacity um, grant is to study and remove the II rehab okay. in the um, Chumsford and the old lines. Oh, okay. That's yep. Right. Yep. To, we call it capacity just to try to so gain capacity. So basically everything from, from bridge over been done? Um, high priority what? areas. Yeah. yeah. Like I wouldn't say, yeah. I wouldn't the say the everything. But this side is pretty much fairly new. So fairly new. So it's really just looking at the, at the old existing lines on this side that go to Chumsford. Yeah, it's the older one. Do you know? Look at that. What's that? Do you really want me to sign it? Brian Martin? No. <laughs> right there. This is for the, um, that's for the accountant. Yeah, I know. That's oh, right. sorry. I I was going to give it to him today. That's why I put the sticky there. But <laughs> I just want to make sure. Thank you. I'm glad you're paying attention. <laughs> And then um, still under like capacity and II. So as you know, we, we've been talking about the Charles George landfill. So after the last meeting, I emailed EPA and DEP uh, the information that Woodard and Cummins had provided um, for them to include in their feasibility study. And they responded and just said um, they thanked us and they're going to be in touch soon for further discussions. So as they're moving along with their study, they'll get to a point and they'll reach out and we'll reconvene on the subject, I guess. So does it look like we could possibly be getting some flow out of that or not? It's, from what they've explained to us, it's really out of their hands. It's going to be they're just doing the report and they're going to present it to the higher ups and they make the decision at the higher level of government. So it, it could go either way. So tell me about the, um, the capacity that we bought the sewer department approved years ago. You, uh, you yeah. were talking about that a while back. 
back in it. Yep. So they had approved, I think it was 56,000. Yeah, I have to go over here actually. So it's 57. 57,000 with an um, option to look at another 7,400 over two over a two year time period and decide if that additional flow was needed. We are not seeing any information that that was decided it was needed, so we're going with the 56. 57,600. 57,600. They're currently using, I think, about 20, just under 27,000 a day. Um, 26, yeah, 26,000 26. per year. That's so what their average is right now. So did you use the 56 number when you did all the, uh, when we were doing the bill vouch and all that? We used, no. No, because we, we, we weren't aware of it flow. at the time. So but it was they were in your IMA. So, but they weren't, they weren't anywhere close to what they were allocating. They're Correct. Half. But at the time, it wasn't until all this came up a couple months ago that we started researching, pulling some old files, and they they did on their end as well, that the 57 came into play. But it, but it was approved for them. Back was then. that contract or agreement ex uh, canceled in 30 years, was it? Or is it no, so that was something different. So that was under they the design. They paid for it, I think, right? Is that they bought the capacity. They, bought yeah, the capacity. they indicated they bought it. Right, so um, the thing that was going to expire in fiscal 27 was in the design criteria report about how long they thought they were going to need to treat out there. Um, but as far as them being allowed to use that capacity, they bought it and they, they paid for the two pump stations, Cummings and Bridgeview, and the line to be put in. Um, I don't see anywhere that that, that okay. capacity expires. So until, you know, I think they're feeling like we should know by spring, the latest, what results come out of their study, and, um, and then hopefully we'll know with decisions that are made by the government, whether they continue putting it in or they do a, a different option of treatment. Um, if they do a different option, that would give us 27,000 gallons a day, which would be great. <laughs> but Right. Yes, correct. correct. Real, real. Even though we're not counting the other, correct. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's it on I. All right. Uh, see, Tolbert is. Anything? Other than we um, are taking the utilities now, as of now. Okay. Because uh, their site work is done. We're waiting for some, like, closeout paperwork mm -hmm. as built. Yeah, I think yeah, that's so it. Think is, is everything all good with the drainage at the pump station? They made mm -hmm. the corrective measures that were requested, and yeah. and that was they agreed to that a long time ago, correct? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do it, and then they all of a sudden they didn't want to do it, but now they're doing it. It's done, yeah. Perfect. They did what they needed to do. All right, moving on. The future sewer phases. Um, so we got the order of conditions today from Concom. Um, so do you want me to record that? You yeah, guys weren't planning yeah, on okay. Yeah. I'll record it next week. I'll bring it to the registry, and I'll once I get a um, PM's going to send me an electronic copy. I'll send it off to you guys for your files. Perfect. Um, and then I, after the last workshop, I sent the fee scenario questions to Attorney Petrini, um, and he said right now, for a, two or three weeks, they're very very busy over there prepping for for cases. So he he could get to it in a few weeks. Um, and so what I think we should do, because we also talked that night about regs changes, I think that we should just hold off on that public hearing until we hear back from them about the fee scenarios, because that may affect language in either the betterment regs or the sewer user assessment regs. And then once we get all that finalized, we hold the public hearing, we have to advertise 30 days ahead of time for regs changes, and at that point we'll know what we're doing with fee scenarios as well. So I'm thinking maybe depending on timelines, maybe November or December we'll do that public hearing. Right. I don't know if you have other uh, stuff. Yeah, just on the, the the actual sewer design. So we yeah getting the order of conditions through completing that permitting. Um, we have the design more or less complete, but going through some internal QA QC. So hoping to get you a um, <coughs> excuse me a set of drawings in November sometime. So design is basically. Is there a, um, a time frame for us to use the grant? There is not a time frame. However, we've, uh, I mean, in general, but we, we kind of give, they ask you for a schedule. So we did get one extension. And 
we had, they gave us till the end of December. I mean, we could probably ask for another extension if we needed it, but I don't think we're going to need it. To go yeah, out, no, I think to go out to bid, you mean? Um, for kids. Or are we talking to design? I'm sorry, I'm ta for we're design. still talking the grant on okay. design. Yes, the grant to do um, the other section there, failings. Uh, we still have to wait for the federal government to vote on their budget, and that so that I feel like that's going to be a little bit down the line, okay. a couple of years maybe. I was going to say yeah, that could be a year out. Yeah. And and f and we talked about phalanx. Um, you the PEF is in for SRF funding for kind of that match portion. Yeah. So we'll find out if you make the intended use plan in December. So we had previously the pump station by itself wasn't wasn't scoring well enough in um, on the IEP, but because it included the sewer um, on phalanx road and the pump station, we're hoping it scores. So, so if it does, no then guarantee, we can, but we're hoping. Yeah, if we can borrow for the 20% match versus having to budget it in fiscal 26 because it's $480,000, that, that's huge. Um, if not, we will budget it, but I mean, if we can borrow it, we're much better off. Yeah. And they usually have a very low interest rate, it's yeah. usually 2%. 2%, yeah. So I mean, you deal. can't beat that. <laughs> yeah. So we'll find out, um, which is good because we usually start doing the budgets around December. So we have the 20% match, now correct me if I'm wrong, we need to pay for that out of the sewer budget. And So you can't, you, correct, you, you, have to, you have to prove to them you have the money up front, right? Okay. So you, but we could, there's no, they have no opinion on after the fact, if you assess betterments or connection fees to, to help pay back what you put up front, mm -hmm. that's fine. But you can't say, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna make our match based on betterments, you can't do that. You have to have that money to, to show them. You can borrow it, yeah, but, but you, you can't, can borrow you can it. Borrow it. Yeah, okay. they consider that co-funding the project. And, and we just need to tell SRF that it's being used as match, so they don't, so they don't it's use a different federal pot of money. money. Yeah. They have to use state money for the match. Yeah. So. All right. What's going on with development? Um, okay. So Jack, I want to check with you. You were working with Joe Pesnola on some language for the MOA, correct? Yeah, I haven't heard anything from him. In so. A long time. Um, Jake was brought up a good point the other day. He said after our discussions last week about deadlines and all of that, we should probably, while you're working on language, put something in there about a deadline, right? Like how long are we reserving that? You know? Yeah. Where we're putting together a legal document with an MOA, how long, like, do you give them a certain amount of time to start their permitting? You know, the last we had heard last spring was they were cleaning up, doing some site testing and then they were going to um, stop the permitting stage. I thought we talked about that. Okay. We, that we were gonna put some time, time frame on. Yeah, like but, but so we talked about residential and commercial last time that um, commercial was, that we're gonna update in our, in our regs, yep. that commercial was gonna be a case by case basis. But what I'm saying is because we are doing a specific MOA with these guys, and they're working on language right now, we should probably put okay. some language in whatever you decide is. In the MOA. In the MOA, gotcha. yeah, because they, you know, we were kind of like, oh, we have an MOA, we're reserving capacity, but. But did they pay for any portion of the pump station upgrade, or did we do that? No, we did the pump station Sounds upgrade, normal. and they're going to do the the word and road. Okay. Well, um, they have no skin in the game, really, so we could put a deadline on. Yeah. Well, the agreement last time was for us to do the pump station and them to do the line. Right. Yeah. We we did our part of it. They didn't do that. And, and the difference between the last time and this time was the last time they were selling the unit. So there was language about escrow taking like $11,000 from each sold unit, put it in an escrow after two buildings are done, do the repairs. These guys now are talking about doing rentals. And so they, they had said at the time um, to us when they were in front of us that they might even do the, the word and road repairs prior to doing the building construction, unless something's changed that you're aware so, of. So to what you just said, yeah. the. We went back through the flows, right? And we were, when we were looking at capacity, and then we looked at the segment, and ultimately concluded that they needed to do those downstream repairs before they finish any buildings. So while we had that original, you know, there was some, the monetary component, I think at this point, because the flows are higher in that area, they just have to have the downstream completed before, they, before any COs. 
And that's what I emailed to Joe back in July. And that's, you haven't heard back? Correct. So um, do, you have a, do you have a preference on a time period? And then that way Jack can put it in the app? Um, well, they're going to give us their schedule at some point, right? Well, will they give it that as part of the MOA? Yeah, although I, I communicated this to Joe, which greatly simplifies the MOA, right? It just It's going to say that they're going to do that before the CO. Um, so I haven't heard anything back from them, so I, I, I don't know if they've gone quiet. But I could bring up that there's a, um, you know, a time frame on that. Yeah, we can put multiple. Yeah, something on that. Something on that. Given you know, a longer period of time, you can't keep them squeezed, but something where a couple of years type of thing. You haven't got your stuff together by then. So you got yeah. There's something going on. So, what do you guys think is reasonable? That they need to have. Um, I, I missed what you just said, Jake. I'm sorry. I would just say that at building permits. So oh, at building least, permits. You know, yeah. Once they grab those, they're hopefully there. Yeah. Uh, maybe we maybe we could put in the um, in the MOA that they need to provide us with a um, yeah. schedule. Good idea. Yeah. And then um, base ours on that. If it looks reasonable, then, then fine. If not, right. yeah. Okay. I mean, once they get going, it's to their benefit to get going. To get going, yeah. exactly. But we can't we can't let it linger. Can't do one building this year, another building next year. We got people looking for flow, mm -hmm. but then they, they, they can't have it tied up. I will email Joe, indicate there's time sensitivity to this capacity, you know, whatever, and then that yeah, we'll look for that in MOA, but asking for a schedule update at a minimum. Now. Were you thinking even MOA deadline to get this? Uh, I wasn't thinking an MOA deadline, but. I mean, I, I, I just figured if the ball, if we can get the ball rolling, if you can send that something to them and we yeah. can yeah. hopefully get something yeah, They're going to take the position that, hey, we put the sewer in the ground, then we get the, we get the flow, right? But part of the agreement was for us to do the pump station, which we did, and they didn't do their part. So if they're not going to do their part and build the buildings, then we could possibly we could sell that capacity to somebody else. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm going to do. You're right. They would look at that and say, "We we put the money in, so we own that flow. If we sold this development partway through, or before we started to build it, we could commit that to new build, new developer. So that that they probably push back on. But they'd have to invest that money. But they, yeah, you're right. saying after they, they, after they upgrade. upgrate. The oh right. yeah. So they yeah. I they'll think push then they're. I mean, I think that's we're reasonable. We're stuck on reselling that to anybody else. I would think that's reasonable that if they put that infrastructure in the ground that you are reserving because that it a lot of that was in lieu, right? Correct. Yeah. But not for not forever. For, forever, exactly. Okay. So if they get if they got a schedule that's gonna go out for ten years, we're not we're not in that game. But if yeah. you know they're gonna be down in a reasonable time frame, two years, three years, whatever it is, right? Then that's okay. Yeah. But in the meantime somebody else might come in looking for capacity and if they're gonna push the can down the road, we, that's the capacity we can use to sell it to somebody else. Yeah. Maybe that so will push them to at least get that MOA, MOA finished by saying you know, we need to put some dates in and and even on the MOA to get the yeah. yeah, I, I would just I really emphasize the capacity issues right now yeah. that we're down to you know the bottom barrel and um, yeah. if they need it, it's it's urgent to get this something moving. Yep. Yeah. We'll do. Right. Anything else, Jake, that you wanted to add? Well, I was just thinking if putting in the infrastructure is in lieu of paying for the, actually paying a dollar amount for the capacity, and if they put it in and then we go a stretch of time, it's almost like they did buy the capacity. It's kind of similar to like the um, Charles George, mm -hmm. you know, they bought the mm -hmm. capacity, so, you yeah. yeah, know. Well, we don't want to end up in that situation. That's what we're trying to yeah. avoid. 
Um, and then I guess that capacity would just be tied to that parcel. Maybe. I would think they would sell it. Push hard for that. Yeah, yeah they're going to push on that capacity, no question. But what, what's, what was that costing them? Million bucks, couple million bucks? Was it a million? It had yeah. gone up because a couple of years went by, and then we updated, amended the original MOA yeah, right. to increase prices, remember, because of inflation yeah. and stuff. Um, now it's been another couple of years, so I'm not yeah. sure right now what the prices would be. Yeah. It would be tough. It, it's a chunk it of money. It would be tough for us to negotiate that to put a deadline on end of life to come, the closer we come back for us because they're going to invest that kind of money. They're going to say, this is tied to the property. We, we should be able to sell this property with that. I think it's close to that because the original MOA, I want to say, was in the high 700,000s with the caveat that if if it cost more than that, they needed to pay for it to finish that upgrade. So, so and that, that original was probably six years ago. So, it was, so yeah, pre-COVID. Yeah. Until they, so until they, until they finish the sewer line, they had no capacity to allocate it. Because if we did our part, they're going to do their part. We don't want that to happen again. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess... Right. I think we could put a, a reasonable time on the MOA itself, okay. um, given how long it's taken, and we are holding that technically. We did our part, but they have no skin in the game right now other than talking, right? So I think six months or so, if they don't have uh, something concrete, then we should be able to say, listen, we upgraded our pump station. We should be able to, even though the pipe by the three sides, we, we might have issues with that, but that's on our See what they say first, and then we'll yeah. just talk about it. And, I mean, yeah. Jack understands where we're, where we're coming yeah. from. Yeah, kind of the con conceptual stuff, but at least holding your feet to the fire on getting an MOA done. Yep. With some, with some dates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. Phase one West discussion. 95, 97 West was mobile. Anything? No. They have a lot of. <laughs> um, okay, so they um, they submitted responses. So Wood and Karen had done a peer review of their plans like two years ago, I think back in 21 maybe. Um, and then Wood and Karen had asked for uh, certain things to be updated. They submitted responses to Wood and Karen, I believe just a couple of weeks ago, um, along with their anticipated flow and an updated plan. And so um, Wood and Karen reviewed and submitted their comments today to them. And MBL Engineering will be um, updating the plan based on their comments, and they want to come to the next sewer commission meeting to present everything to you. Jack won't be there that night, but he'll review everything ahead of time and send along comments. So um, they're coming in on the, what's today, 24th? 24th. Yeah, they'll be coming in on the 24th to present the plans to you, present, you know, answer any questions. So they clearly don't have a gravity issue. They get a drop manhole, drop manhole, yeah. more drop manhole. <laughs> yeah. They're coming down quick. Yep, yep. So they're coming down. Um, we do have, we want them to adjust the manhole that's, we want to make sure the manhole is in the shoulder that they're adding so it's e convenient to access. Um, but other than that, it's just some, I think, relatively minor um, cleanup items for them. So we had, a, I, we had a slew of comments, but I think most of them are just for clarification. Paul, any other? I gave um, Mike some pitches. Um, sewer stub is yep. so it's pretty close to their property line yeah so I don't know if you want to put two manholes or one manhole I mean if you go, you go out there and walk it you can see their property lines right there so putting another manhole and doing a 90 or is there 45 I don't know yeah we want to make sure they get the good 90 yeah. turns so I don't know if you recall um, they were originally going to tie in down off of Middlesex and then it was oh they could cut into um, to Westford, where the other utilities are, but they ultimately are tying in on that, I guess, I think it's northeast, northwest property corner, um, through what the stub that was left for the other property, so they're putting a manhole there, so the stub that's there will continue to that property, and they're tying in, so there's a little jog in the in the pipe to get around the property corner. So is that still in the right of way? Or yeah, the, the manhole, the so man, we, yeah. So we didn't stub it onto their property? We, we, one out to the middle? 
we stubbed it onto their property on the far end of the property at the bottom. Oh. No, 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 there's no, no stub on the far end of the side of the property. Because at, at, at that point- Police we, station, you mean? There was, right. Yeah, that side. They were supposed to go up the other side. Middlesex. Middlesex Road. Down the hill at up. Tech Drive. Yeah, so that's the way they were supposed to go. Their stub was Tech Drive. Yeah, so basically, no. yeah. That, that was pre- that was when they were supposed to go that way. Well, and Walter owned the whole thing, so he probably gave them. Probably before it was something. It was like before it. the subdivision. Like so this was West Tech Drive. Is that area? Yes. Is there an easement on Westwood? That's where they want to come out on Westwood, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So is there, so an, e is there an easement there? Who owns the property? No, they're coming right to the right way. So there's no. They're not so, crossing so, any so private is, property. So is Walt Jones. The, so they own it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just the service is. The service left, it's an eight inch service that goes basically at the junction where the two properties are. And the service is here, so their their lateral is coming out, jumping over and tying into that. So that common manhole will you'll be able to see both of the services that come into it. Right. So conveniently accessible, like it actually worked out pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because they were supposed to put a dog manhole in, yeah. which we said no. It, yeah, if we could go back in time and we knew the subdivisions were going to happen the way they were, they would have had a manhole further down the street that would have just come up. But, you know, things, things changed. happened over time, and then that wasn't there, and then they would have had to have cut into it. And well, this is probably more convenient coming down the side of the property construction line since the yes. temple is right up on top of the hill. Right? So, yeah. All right. Phase two sewer project. Um, yeah, so we just to briefly touch on 84 Kendall and 93 Kendall. So um, I received an email from the representative for the senior living group for 84 Kendall um, just a week ago. And so I want to talk to you tonight so I can get back to him. So they said that they had met with Brox last week um, and Brox had wanted them to confirm a few items with us. So I think Brox is being, because they're trying to work with Brox about getting the infrastructure on through 98 and so I think Brox's main concern was that they don't want to, they want to make sure that if you give 84 Kendall capacity, there's still some left for Brox at 98 because Brox doesn't know yet what they're doing. Um, so the gentleman was asking, are we currently reserving capacity for Brox? And the answer is no, because when we talked about it a year and a half ago um, with Brox, we explained some possibilities of what we could do. Jack had looked at... Right now, they don't know how much how much flow they need. So Jack had looked at 98 Kendall vacant property the way he looked at every other parcel in phase two, subtract out the wetlands, what's the highest and best use, what it's zoned for, and it ended up being about 24,000 24, gallons a day they would need. So we talked to Brox a year ago, not this summer, last summer, and said this is what we could reserve, but you would need to stop paying for it. We can't just reserve, you know. And we came up with some ideas that potentially they could do a covenant to pay for it. And that way, during the time when they finally know what they want to put on, we could look at the true actual gallonage, adjust the covenant, but at least they're paying for it because we can't really reserve capacity if, if you haven't paid for anything. So the way it was left at that time by Brox was, okay, thank you for the information. We'll get back to you if and when we want to purchase that, stop reserving the capacity. Because that was before 84 was even in the picture. So to answer the question, no, we aren't currently reserving anything for them. But I mean, right now there is still plenty of flow. Um, and then the other thing was the gentleman at 84 was saying, if there was a significant delay in having infrastructure across the street to lead down through the storage facilities, could, he wanted to know could he go down Kendall Road when he said it would be expensive, run his own force main down Kendall Road, tap into the force main at the bridge and send it across the way. But that doesn't seem like um, that would be a doable solution. No. Um, There's no way to get it down there in gravity? That would have to be pumped? Well, then it would go through Chen Street. And then there's no... Then yeah, we can't do that. Right. So we definitely got to be part of phase two. So, um, so I can get back to him after the meeting and tell him we're not currently reserving for, for Brox, but we certainly can if they want to come in and we can form a covenant with them. 
and um, also that that would not be an option. So I don't know what you want to talk about for options or not options or 84 is going to come in and see you all and present their project, but they're just trying to tie up loose ends before they get to that So, point. just clarification, the Bronx property that was vetted has low reserve. Correct. Do, do we know what that is? That's no. reserved. That was 39,000 gallons. And on, the, on the right of parking. Behind. The, right the parking right side. The parking yeah. right Correct. side. So they're going to, do they know what they're going to use over there yet? Warehouses. Le oh, yeah, they're using yeah. less. They're using less than that. Yeah, warehouse is not going to. Yeah. So they're going to want to, which won't. I don't they, think that'll work. They're going to want to ship that to the other property, but yeah, that no, work. no, it's that locked with the property. That doesn't work, right? So what would that be? A uh, ninety-eight of betterment, a uh, privilege fee? It would be a privilege fee. Yeah. So what do you do? Just calculate the numbers of the ERUs, like twenty-four thousand gallons. Well, the twenty-four thousand was our build out for the property. If they're doing um, a privilege fee, they could buy what they need. I see. So they could say this is all warehouse because we really only need 10,000. Yeah, right. they could put a house and yeah, buy right. it. And by doing a covenant, you're only charging them, you know, you're pay, paying it off over 20 years, so we can adjust it when they actually know what they're going to put there and, you know, count how much payment they've already made and so forth. So that gives them a little bit of flexibility if we did it that way. Um, but the key is to reserve it. But the key is to reserve it, and I, I don't think there was a major rush for them last summer. However, now I think that's their concern, right? Is if they allow 84 in, okay, we got to make sure we still have the capacity for our future needs. Um, so that's that's one thing. So then the other thing would be, just talking about 84 in general. I mean, it, if there is a delay, what are other options or not? I mean, I, I don't know how you want to. Well, the infrastructure. So they have to they have to have an agreement with Bronx. Yeah, that's correct. They clearly have nothing to do with so, us. And the only thing we approve is the but they're, they're trying to co cover their their options because if Bronx all of a sudden the developers say, well, we're going to put a stop on this project, they're stuck. Right. So they're looking. I think they're right. looking if if there was other options for them to connect to the sewer system, just in case there's a delay. I mean, if there was another well, way. Well, they were originally supposed to be on phase one, right? For options? No, 84. Well, we both those parcels. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah. 84 to yeah. So, but there's no flow to add them back in, right? Mm -hmm. If they went down and. Correct. Definitely not. If they ran it down and tied in themselves, right? How far, is, how far is that? To, to all the way down the Flint Road? Is that what it is? Oh. The that's Flint, that's Road, right? Flint Road's the end of um, phase so one. Flint and that goes down Flint and Upton. Yeah, that should be big enough if they tied in. Um, but the one inch is 400 feet. Technology Drive was better. It's 1,000 feet or something, maybe? Yeah. So Technology Drive was better. Um, you know, there's best friends, but the industrial then... Industrial condos, I should talk. 10, What's that? 10,000 square foot condos, right? Like they were going to do, right, a business yeah. office visit, and then they decided to do this other project, so they came to us for, for flow. And we approved it, and that's what kicked off this whole getting into the weeds of the capacity study. So we did approve, um, the commission did approve for the, the proposed golf course. Um, they're doing like a... Yeah, a regional home center. Yeah, so like a... Just for sake of argument, right? Forget about whether we have flow available or not. Would it be a better option for them to put the gravity sewer line in down at Flint? As opposed to going the other direction with the pump station and all that. If flow, if flow wasn't an option, right. If flow wasn't an option, I think. If flow wasn't an option, I think from your perspective, from the commission's perspective, it would. I mean, it would be good if they did that, right? Because you have sewer that portion of Kendall Road that came off of, you know, that was part of the needs area. Um, Aside from logistics of going through the Brox property, I would think going through the Brox property is their, could be their cheapest option or 
comparable to going down Kendall Road. But it again, if you do gravity on Kendall Road, right, gravity is more expensive than running a force main. So, but they would want to run a force main to the bridge. If they could stop at Kendall, then can't they go into a manhole? Yeah, they could to the gravity. Yeah, to the gravity. Know, if, if, yeah. the, if we have the flow for that, that if you I think that's a better option. Uh, Isn't there a lot of ledge too? There was. Oh, Ledge in that, yeah, yeah. Not, not well. but they would own the, <laughs> they would own the force main up to the main hole, right? No, it wouldn't be a force main. We'd make them put the gravity in because then we could pick up the rest of the thing. Is the option was to force main it to one of the main holes. They could. It can, it's. I mean, it could be done either way. That could remain private because it's just serving them, which is I think probably the most yeah, common I, way. That that my point is, if uh, I'm thinking. If they can put the gravity into the Kendall, that would pick up all the rest of that. Yeah, I mean, that would be great from the sewer needs area perspective. To and that might change the, the, the garage and all that, right? To sure. have them turn around and go into that gravity, too. But then again, now we got the it's, yeah, it's Right, it, and, and they're they a lot need over 30,000 yeah, gallons a, a day. Flow. Never mind anybody else on, on the way that they would pick up. Well, I that's mean, what I was saying. Technology Park, we gave, we allocated some number. They're on phase one, right? Yes. Yeah, but we're, the, so, the, so the other thing in the back of my mind I'm thinking is, I think we're going to eventually fix this flow problem, but it's going to be a little bit. I personally right. would not I risk that or hold my breath. <laughs> I think, I don't my, know. My feeling is that the Charles George landfill flow heavily influences that 100%. decision and that's really six months from now so that without even, that answer that it's even three or four years after that yep. yeah but just knowing what they're doing is because because they, yeah. they right, right they're either gonna give we have it available it's just everything is right is allocated. allocated well that's and what i was saying about the technology park one is that the betterment is there you can't touch that but we can claw back the other one if we put some constraints on timelines um, How long is the allocation going to be good for? It's still going up low, isn't it? So you approved it, right? Say a month ago. Um, you're saying that you're going to you put. I, I think we we had told them at the time. It wasn't a month ago, was it? It wasn't too much longer than that. That's what. Well, I'm sorry. It was maybe the beginning of the summer. It was. It was what kicked off us really getting yeah, into yeah. final numbers for this capacity because um, what they that it was that project that extra flow that we needed to really see what do we have left. My whole, like to, to your point, and that would be great if we do get more capacity in the future or the I&I &I project helps. However, my line of thinking is when you've charged a betterment to somebody, that's theirs. Like you, you, you can't risk or play with any no, I understand reserve that. flow, and you know? We charged a betterment based on 10,000 square foot condos, which is what, an ERU, two ERUs? It wasn't an amusement venture that takes another 30,000 a day. So that's the part that I think is up for grabs if they don't execute on their side. Yeah, I think it ended up, it was it an extra 11,000? It should be on your chart. Oh, okay. So it's 11, I don't, so it's I don't have that. So it's chart. not even enough. Um, no, I, I do have that though, I think. Um, no, but I, and, and in, when I just made that comment, I was talking about all the better flow that has no, been. I, I, I didn't I, just mean that possible. I don't understand yeah. that. Yeah. I, I just think that oh. if we could so I'm just, I guess I'm a little confused. 9,500 Now that I'm thinking of this, right? Yeah. I'm a little bit confused because initially they were they were on the phase one project, right? So the flow would have been allocated to them based on the square footage, right? So what? Initially who? Uh, 84, 84. Right. right? And the, uh, in the other box. Well, it was not, right? We took that off. So we took it off. Stuff? So we took it off, but initially it was on. And, and the flow was... was was there. So, so do we, we we put more buildings in that sold more flow so between then I, and now? I wasn't I didn't work for this department when that piece of the of the project was right. discussed and taken off. Jeff, but was, um, was more is that what happened that when they were taken off other areas got added on? I don't know if we answered that. Sorry, I guess I missed the question. When that when Kendall Road was originally proposed up to Bryant's Lane, and then that got taken out of the project. In in exchange, did other areas then get added on? No, Kendall was just taken out because. Right, but it, so initially we had the flow for them, and now all of a sudden we don't, right? 
all our flow is added to it. Probably hey, only a few did, houses though, did right? Did we add more on? Add, add something on that took up the rest of that flow? Um, I thought we took the flow from that. Did the condos on the middle side? So was that road. already factored in? And like Cricket Lane no. and those? Um, Flo oh, they must have been. They were I already factored in. They were already yeah. factored in. Yeah. Do you have I don't think I have the broken down flow table. You, under, you understand what I'm trying to say, Yeah, right? I see what you're saying. Where did that flow go? But I think it, I think it went to... Full tank. I, no, that was just part of... I mean, that, wasn't even, that wasn't even thought of. It, it was really just user other connections that have happened. All the little connections and other things. I mean, the, the, the number of homes on Kendall Road, it's, it's not a big amount of flow. Yeah, it's, it's like, well, it's like two or 3,000 gallons so, a day. So I guess the question would be, if we asked them, would they be willing to put the gravity line to Flint's? And then we, we'd have to figure out the flow. We can go back and look at it and see if it's even feasible. Yeah, although... As but if they're not interested, then it's not even worth that, yep. going through the motions. But as was mentioned, though, instead of like extending a force pain, you know, like putting gravity, knowing that was in rock, you know that is going to be substantially more costly than than grab. But like you said, though, it's not a long run. But I would think it's they would. Uh, that would be a better option for them if they're if they're dealing with across the, the street. It's cleaner, is, uh, absolutely. Is uh, they could pull out or get by. What are they looking for flow? Thirty thousand gallons a day. Is that the title five? So is it more like fifteen thousand average? But yeah, but it's a big number. It's. And we're down back to your question, when we. When we designed that, we went up to Bryant's Lane. Did we not include 84? No, they were included. So it had to be included with highest and I thought they were in forestry at that time. They were. It was yeah. in forestry. They were, but it was, we, it was but, included. But having said that, we would still look at the build-out of a property. Yeah. So we must have had a flow number in there. But again, the homes would have been a very small amount. Yeah. But you're right, that parcel would have been subdivided. I mean, it probably would have doubled the flow, just guessing. The highest and best of residential versus what they're putting would, is a very oh, high sure intensity. Did. Well, they so didn't they change the zoning too? Would that have a factor? In yeah, that's why it's yeah. so much higher now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think when you look at all the other connections, it's that's where that all got eaten up into. Well, when you, they, they're coming in when? Next time? Uh, no, um, they they oh. don't want to come in until they square things out with Brox. But they so have these questions now so to help maybe, them do that. Maybe reach out to them and ask them if, if that's something they're willing to do when it, and that would eliminate rocks altogether. Then we'd have to sit down and really crunch the flow numbers and see if that's feasible. So haven't we crunched the flow numbers and we're down to 1,500? On paper, yes. But on your actual flows, you know, <coughs> excuse me, Looking at the betterment reserve flows, you know, that's, I think that's what you're getting at. Yeah. <coughs> um, I'm, I'm just not sure how you squeeze out that much flow of. Well, can you go back and look at properties like mine that was allocated for, I don't know how many did I use, 10 PIUs, and we're only using two? And then just refund that person. <laughs> 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 Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I can look into the options, but yeah. I don't know. No, but it's I, yeah. I, I was serious, I know but, but really, because it's not gonna. I know it's it's better than it's allocated, but it's never gonna go higher. I guess you can't say never, never. Somebody, yeah, that's somebody could come in there and challenge and reuse. But if if buildings are up for a certain use, I mean, we had yeah. talked about that very loosely in the past when we talked about. Do you put a deadline on connection when they connect, right? And versus do you give them 20 years or whatever? And um, and we did talk about. I don't know if it, if if it's legal. If you have someone that is like, I just put in a brand new septic. I'm not interested. I'm never planning on tying in or not using all the capacity. Is there a credit system that you could sell flow? I mean, I don't know if that's legal. I don't know if you can do it. It's, it I know it was brought up before. Yeah, I have not seen it done. And my understanding is you can't. I would say do if it's that. better no. than they paid for it, it's theirs. Whether they use it. Mm -hmm. Like you can't take that. Down. Oh, I agree, hundred percent. You can play um, the numbers game that there's nothing coming from there, but at some point that's going to bite you. I hundred percent well, agree. Well, unless we get additional flows going from Junction, which we're right trying. We've got 
Right. No, I don't, I, I don't think that's never going to happen. I think it's going to happen. It's just going to not ever. It's a matter of time. It's not never, it's ever. No. <laughs> I, I don't agree. Is Lowell, Lowell stuck? Lowell but you need, you need Lowell, Lowell you need Lowell to open up, which they're yeah. doing a lot of yeah. First thing that's going to happen with Chimps, it is combined. You need to upgrade the South Well. But, but, well, no. Yeah, yes, but. Oh, yeah. No, but Lowell needs to break their capacity, right? So they need to re remove enough stormwater so they can accept flow. Then Chelmsford needs the flow for themselves. That's right. They're going to take right, and other communities are going to take yeah. it for themselves. We need and then, then yeah. you have to upgrade Southwell or sewers. That's you know millions, and then then you can have capacity. Times that by speed of government equals never. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here. From the um, but like the other the one the part that gives me heartburn too is just like a lot of businesses that are using a certain amount of flow right even if the economy is up there are, people are just doing more and the flow can just you know come up so well, the more, so perfect example wet season yeah high, so there, there's low. a lot of that fluctuation but I, I do think you know from when we did phase one west I think a lot of business I, th I think there was just a lot more use and we did see the the flows here's go a, up over here's time. a caveat to my never if the federal government relaxes the requirements down there at the plant, which they may do because things are so backed up, if you will, then that could happen. They have the magic wand to say. So my ahead. my understanding was that they always had the flow, but it was the availability to take on more flow. It the 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 feds wouldn't give them the permits for more because they got to do more for. Yeah, they know, got a twenty five thirty percent I and I club. They got they got they, they, at least. They have, they, they have a, a, a sewer that dumps into a brook somewhere, you know, yeah. still, right? Yeah. How was that? Was that? I said they have a, is it a three-foot thing going under the, <laughs> under the Merrimack, and there's a, there's a hole in it? Can you yeah. imagine how much water's coming in there? Constantly leaking. Gaping hole, yeah. So, um, anyways. Okay, yeah. so we'll Although, see. Maybe it might not be that. But, <laughs> but I would, but that's a long time. But I would <laughs> say, though, the only flow that my understanding is they would have is the difference between their current permit and their average daily flow, right? The EPA, generally speaking, is not giving out flow for any wastewater plants. So we haven't been able to secure additional flow for But if they get pressured from but up above to say, we've got major issues of economic problems backing up yeah. into this. Yeah, that you might need, yeah. You need to relax a little bit. That's what I think. So I, I mean, let's, let's ask that question if they're willing to do that. And if if, that, if you and would be willing to run a gravity line to Flint Road and tie into a manhole, yeah. is that what you're asking me? Yeah. That 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 could be. I mean, nobody said about the PFAS stuff, but they're pepping mm -hmm. right the whole. But I'll is, let him know that let me, let that me, doesn't mean we have the capacity. Let me ask this question: When we um. When we were running that line by um, um, by Kendall Road, right? The uh, the phase two line. Mm -hmm. Jeff, by Kendall Road, what do you mean? Jen, Jeff was on, the, and there was some talk about um, like um, like putting a, something in and turning the switch so it would go across the river. Like a bypass. Yeah. Is that you know what I'm talking about? You remember that conversation? Yeah, and we went through everything, and it was the cost was just. Well, that's a fourth name, right? You'd have to. The re, the, yeah, the additional or reconstruction cost was substantial. Um, so it didn't happen. Right, I know it didn't happen, but I'm. Yeah, I remember we had like a cost estimate for that. For those scenarios. Yeah, because you'd have to have you don't have the capacity in the pipe. Which one's using it to go over the bridge? I think because it's going to go from it's going to go from gravity to to a force main that will cross the bridge, right? How does that work? I think that was like part of the issue is that you couldn't tie into the force main. I can't. But we That's looked at. I, but I, I remember we looked at some scenarios, right? One was like we had Phase One West designed as this. Oh, never mind. I, I'm thinking. Never mind. We were thinking like phase two coming to phase I didn't get one. my valve on the middle of the bridge. I was supposed to have a valve that I could open it up. Well, I know, right? And we're going to have this issue. Yeah. 
Um, Kathy, in, in communicating to them about the gravity line, mm. um, we have that design done, and I was looking, the drawings are still on the website, oh, so yeah. you could just point them to that. Yeah, just They're still on the drawing. Just right. so they're not running back of the napkin numbers, they can actually look at this and go, oh, there's rock in the road, and they can have a better sense of what that cost might be. Um, they're still on the plan. But also, me making it very clear that capacity is a major issue. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a capa if we, they could do that, there was still no. a capacity issue. Brian had down. his rose-colored glasses on. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> new treatment <I'm>, plants. And, <laughs> and a switch at the bridge. Yeah, a switch at the bridge. <laughs> Actually, what I want for Christmas. Daryl, that, that property was not in the project. No. That property, oh. we stopped just yeah. shy of Brian, Brian, and that was one of the conspiracy theories that the 40B, yeah. Yeah, like the 40B we, project. That, and it was, yeah. it was stopped short because it wasn't needed because that was in oh, that's forestry. It was so in forestry. we don't, yeah, so there was no flow allocated to that parcel. It was only the homes. Okay. Huh. And they did one. Well, that's unfortunate, too. Yeah. But yeah, those draw, that whole design is on, is on the website. Um, so you can bring that on up. Um, oh, wait a minute, sorry. I, yeah, er, 93. The, well, but the, the discussion here, we were talking, um, we were talking capacity. Well, we were talking logistics, logistics of where their flow would go, but then we we're also talking capacity. I just wanted to say on the capacity front, you have flow allocated to the 98 Kendall. We had the chunk of flow reserve for Locust Ave in case anything was done out there. And then there was, you know, remaining capacity. So even though that number is is dwindling, it's but, still a but sizable. That's all Drake. But totally that's, Drake. All I'm, I'm, that's, that's all Drake. That's all Drake. Right, exactly. And I'm, I guess I was getting back to the, for them coming into the so phase So if they go through two. rocks, all good. Yes, yeah. but I, I think there was concern of how much capacity remains and if that comes into there does that limit some of the other things there i'm i'm saying there's still capacity you're not i don't know it, it still feels like there's sufficient capacity and locust have the flow you've allocated even to if locust, rocks chose not to reserve it at this point in time if they didn't reserve it at this point in time and just say you had a couple other developments use up that remaining capacity you know, the, the amount that was reserved for Locust was kind of a, you know, future who knows what might happen. I would think that that would also be available. So I think you have excess flow that could be allocated. So with this, trying to would say. Brox ultimately be like almost their own? They'd buy all the capacity and then basically grant it to 84. Would 84 buy Because it's got to flow through Brox. 84 like, would have to buy it from would, the town, though. That, that's the only thing I think we would. But if they have to, they because they're the separate entity, so if they bought, say, 24000 all they're going to have running through there is twenty four coming to here. If they buy the additional, well, they would definitely have to work out the agreement with Brox to pass it through, and Brox would have to upgrade their system to handle that unless Brox buys all of that or so or makes the agreement, the agreement knowing that their infrastructure has to handle has to handle all that yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't know it's just it's so i think yeah they they would buy the capacity from the town and then just get the easements because i mean what's stopping brox from buying can they buy more than they need mm -hmm. so if they bought their capacity just to hold it for them and then basically they pay brox to pass through their system that's what would have to happen. Like a private sewer. So I guess the, yeah. the dollar value limits them <laughs> buying it in, in advance. Because, yeah, if they buy it, size everything, I mean, that kind of cuts us out of even having discussions about it if they no, wanted they, to make they that they investment. The well, they say Brox buys oh, they the buy flow. Yeah. And then that way, or well, then it's we tied care. to this parcel, and then they just pass through. And then we wouldn't necessarily. I'm, I'm not sure that could, they could do that. Could they? I don't know. I think because if they bought the capacity, like you'd give them a privilege fee. 
like we the buy privilege it for someone else's part of, so yeah this let alone we've, just, just we've never else. done that i it's, don't know legally can you do that I yeah, don't know. maybe uh, maybe on a privilege fee but on the bet like the betterment we would say no you can't do it that way a privilege fee i don't know i've never had well isn't a privilege fee the same thing as a better i no, that's why i'm thinking you only can't that, do the only it, difference is you got to pay it up front unless you do a covenant right yeah but i think that yeah that does ultimately it's coming from Barack's in the so they own all that flow. They're responsible for it within this. Within, within their process. own property limits. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you're saying. So they could make a deal across the street from us, and why not? We have, we have a right to review the deal, but. Yeah. And we get privilege for it. Right. Yeah. Um, so the, the Bryant's Lane, you guys are saying, would not work? I'm if, just look if they if they had a force main that went out through Brian's Lane and went to the phase two gravity sewer, that force main would then be running parallel to your force main. It would be running parallel to the force main and gravity sewer on phase one, and then it would be running parallel to the force main and then it would tie into the gravity. So it would just create a whole lot of infrastructure out there that you generally not allowed okay. or not wanted. Yeah. So that would not be ideal. Then you'd be ripping up the road. Yeah, is there a moratorium still paid. on that road? It's all state. And then uh, you'd probably be clumped up with the water line if you split in. Right. They just put yeah, in the so water line from What were you Mike talking? Sun? Go Force yeah. Main to a manhole that's out on Middlesex? Or I'm you saying you if, you went Brian, if you went Bryant, if you went Bryant, you'd go that way. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that would be the way for them to not go through rocks. And they would own the force main. Yeah. But that's where, like, where you have three sewer pipes parallel in the road, and then you said earlier, if there's you an issue. Force main, no more. Yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously, phase one, right? It's capacity. And then if they go through Brock's, I mean, Brock's is moving along on the pump station, they, it seems like they would have the ability to access that pump station even if the other parcel isn't moving forward, right. if they worked out of it. Again, if they're not even willing to do that, then it's just not even not worth having a conversation. If Brock's is not willing? No, no, the, who, I don't know the developer, it's 84. Uh oh. But they're not willing to go to go to the other. On Kendall. Place. Kendall, then it's not, it's a moot point that we're having a discussion or trying to find for that. Well, their other way means a pump station, right, for them, for the gravity sewer. I think their pump station, no matter, they I need think they have to pump no matter what to get sideways, out. They sideways, right? So they have to do a pump station and they have to make an agreement with Brock. The Brock's got to have a pump station too, right? Uh, pump across the street. Brock's got two of them. Yeah. Versus going gravity down. So the Brock's may not be, depending on what that whole arrangement is with Florence, it may not be horrible for them. It may sound like a lot of money, but it may not be. But then we have the time for it. Right. Um, so back to 93, Kendall. So uh, the plans, so if you remember, they came in front of us, the developer came in front of us in January of 2023, and at that point, about putting the warehouses on the site at 93 Kendall. So at that point in time, we talked about doing a peer review, however, they weren't ready for that yet. They said, when our plans get to be 75 to 90% done, then we'll give you a check and do the peer review. So apparently, I think they kind of, things slipped by for them, maybe. Um, so they're at a point now that they've produced plans, they're ready to put them out to bid or they have put them out to bid. So we need to jump right in and have Jack do a peer review for them. So Jack is gonna give us an updated salary amount for eight. what he would charge. Oh, did you already tell me that? Or no, oh, okay. but eight for the, to review the pump station and the layouts. Okay, so I can email that or you were gonna yeah, email that matter. to him? Okay, so um, if you wanna let him know it'll be 8,000 mm -hmm. for the pay review, because in looking over the plans, the initial plans that just came, we got today, Jack's already seen a few things that would encourage, would be concerned about, especially if they're handling flow from other parcels now. Um, that's the, 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 the
property that Brooks is selling behind the park and ride, where they're, they're putting in warehouses. Because they have to put some pump stations on that right. parcel. Um, so it in, would include a review of the infrastructure in Kendall Road, the private infrastructure, what's funding up commerce, and then on their property, I believe. And is it also the lines running down to Middlesex? The storage is that on there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The whole thing yeah. is it's all inclusive. Okay. Yeah. So I think the confusing part was it's two separate projects. There's a mass works component and then there's the private work. Yeah. And the mass works component is basically they're starting two weeks. I mean it's up to them if they want to size those pump stations to be able to handle any other flow rate. They don't have to do that now. Yeah. We, we can Correct. Make them do that. That's up to them. Yeah. And they're they're sized at 240 gallons a minute right now, without without nine without 84. That includes the one property, but not the whole. Jeff, do you think it's worth me just at least talking to Brox? Because I'd hate for you to review this and then they, I guess that unless that's on them, and then they I'll say, oh yeah, we're gonna allow 84, and then they do do the design. Unless you don't think it's gonna be I, a lot. Well, I think. We're gonna have a, hit, a fair amount of comments on the pump station, but I think whether it's the 240 or you know 400 gallons a minute, okay. I don't think that's um, yeah. I don't think there's rework. Okay. I don't think there's much rework in that. Um, yeah. With the caveat that they're at an eight foot wet well for this flow, as the flow goes up, what you know, getting above a 10 foot wet well gets to be costly because you can't move a 12 footer on the road easily. So I'm not sure how they'll handle that. They might go to a different shape or something. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think that's going to have a big impact. Hmm. Okay. So. But, but the timing of that peer review, if that escrow thing moves quickly, we can move quickly. Or okay, good. Or if you need that's us great. to just, if you need us to just expedite it, we'll just jump on it now. I mean, that's. Yep. And just don't lose the comments until you get the Jefferson. I think yeah. the, the mass works component is just what's out of that little curve from 98 to halfway up commerce, and that's it. That's the mass works portion. Okay. And so that's the most that. time sensitive yep. right now. So maybe if we start with just figuring yep. that. Yep. Which, and we, in looking at it, yeah, it might just be a pipe material, and yeah, and we'll get into a quick response on that. Um, when you email SDG, do you want to just CC Jack so that way if they have any questions, yeah, um, everybody's on the same page and they have his contact information? Anything else uh, phase two, so? No. All right. Two minutes, please. Uh, just meeting minutes to approve from September 26th. John, I will second that. Is there any further discussion? We haven't seen that on the paper. Aye. Opposed? Okay, we just uh, come up with those wise. Do you want to redo those? There's not a lot there today. Speaking of flow, John Chempson. Yes. <laughs> It's it's um, it's repair sewer. What is that? Um, the truck meter breaks. Oh, yeah. the rotors. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna have that motor closed. That was. Uh, what did he do? I didn't know that. He got up his new new. Uh, All my brakes. Yeah. Over eleven hundred dollars was just parts. His labor wasn't that much. Yeah, it was rotors. It was brake pads. Rotors, it was. Yeah, yeah rotors. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. Now. How many miles on that thing? 73,800. Really? That's a few trips around Kingsville. <laughs> <laughs> 
So. <laughs> <laughs> OAT. Every day, multiple times problem. a day, right? Uh, and and subtracts an OAT, so. Quick with direct. What's that? Okay, so what that is, is twice a year when we do the residential billing, you know, the collector's office does the billing for us. When it's the residential, they send the billing file over to this place, Kirkwood Direct, who prints the bills, stuffs the bills, and pays for the postage to mail the bills out because mm -hmm. there's over 2,000 of them. Yeah, it's just, that's, shit. that's our, yeah, we pay that. So you'll see that in March and September. Thank you. It's in sewer, that's what it is. It confused me. Oh. Right. <laughs> Edge Repair Corp. Sewer. Oh, yeah, probably because they don't put an invoice number. I think it just puts that it's a sewer one. Um, one other thing, though, while we're still on my report. <laughs> um, so today I did like a status chart of um, the fiscal 25 capital budget, right? So we had budgeted several line items in, in 25. And this budget gets voted, as you know, at town meeting just as capital. So if you need to... Um, use other capital line items for things, that, that's okay. But what I just wanted to point out was, um, in here we had originally budgeted $150,000 for the Phalanx upgrade design. However, that was before us getting the grant, so now all that's covered under the grant. So I just wanted to get your permission to use that 150. If you remember, we need to pitch in 300,000 for the garage. So. 200,000 was budgeted this year, 100,000 was budgeted last year, but we didn't use it because of the timing. So if we can use 100 out of that 150 to make our full three in this year's budget to pay for the garage, just in case everything gets done by June 30th. And then the other 50,000, I mean, it's not gonna be 50,000, but Paul has something in his report that we're gonna need some money for. And so um, I just wanted to point out that we do have some money here. Very, very nice office. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no, no, no. Great segue. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll want you willing to go to my report. Oh, sure. Yeah, so this way out of line. You're all, you're all set. <laughs> yeah. See yes. the former's report. <laughs> right. Uh, so we uh, we fixed the manhole over at Jefferson, the one that was leaking. So we went in there okay. last week and we podged the whole thing, uh, popped the bottom. So we'll see if it holds. Mm -hmm. Um, Weston Sampson came out yesterday and pulled a, pulled a big, broke down a pump over the Scuppet Trail and pulled out a big rag on a, a clock pump that we had. Uh, the, the, the last thing I have is uh, we've been dealing with sewer odors. Uh, Parker Lane, Coburn Road. Uh, Parker Lane, I think we're still trying to dial it in on the dioxide uh, that's being treated. Uh, the Scuppet Trail, Issue was, uh, I think, is resolved. I think we haven't had a complaint in there for a while. I think we're treating that one too. The one at Colburn Road, I'm, I'm treating the wet well at the station. Uh, it's, a, it's a losing battle. I need to treat the force main upstream, which is uh, there's 4,300 lineal feet of force main coming from Village Lane that needs to be treated before it hits the Colburn Road pump station. Uh, in order to do that, we need to put a bioxide unit somewhere on town property upstream and tap the force main and pump some bioxide into it. That will alleviate the odor at the Colburn Road pump station. Just like we're doing at Farwell and Parker. Um, so we need to figure out what it would cost to put a bioxide pump in station upstream on town property before, um, right after the force main off their property. So we don't want to put anything on their property because uh, then it would, would, would take care of their station. So. Mm. Uh, so Todd was supposed to come out today, but he didn't get to come out here yet. He's the, uh, he uh, works for Bioxide, his island. So he's the, like the expert on it. So he could give us a price on the pumping. Uh, you know, and he's also got all the figures that Jason from Woodrow to Come gave him to see how much we have to pump into force main on a daily basis. He's been taking care of the other ones we have already. Do those things come with weatherized pots to hold that thing? That's what I'm, they sell those I think they do yeah. sell outside one. But we're probably looking at a slab, a tank, and a control box with the pumps. So it's 
easy come, easy go for the 50 grand, right? Yeah, yeah I, I have I no idea how cost. much it'll be, but where we have it budgeted already and we're not going to use that because that's covered under the grant, that, I mean, that would be perfect. You know, I don't do know we, it's going to be. Do we have an agreement with the uh, Village Lane? To tie in those, those units? No, I mean, they just took care of, you know, toll paid for their, um, they were going to do impellers, but they ended up doing pumps to, Right. Yeah. I know you know, there that. was that, but we don't have, no. We don't have an agreement what they're responsible for, what we're responsible for. And not that no I'm aware of. Not that there's I'm no aware. way to treat it at the station. Well, that, well, there is a way to treat it at the station. Well, what I'm treating uh, at the what station. I, what, I'm not hearing not. Is, what I'm hearing is you don't want to do that because it's not our station, correct? No, I, it's a losing it's battle at our station. Here. No, no. Oh. At the Village Lane pump station. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to treat it there because it's not our pump station. Correct. That's what, yeah. Right. Right. And that seems like. So you, you guys know what Curtis Road is, where the parking lane, Force Main went up over the hill? That's town property. Mm -hmm. That abuts their Force Main, because the Force Main goes down the shoulder of the road to Colbert Road. So that's more than halfway of, of the Force Main. So if we can treat it there, we'll be treating a good portion of the Force Main before it hits Colbert Road. So you want to treat it while it's so going through, right? Yeah. Treating it at Colbert Road just before. Doesn't it's not doing it because it's already gone anaerobic and it's already, it's already, it already stinks. And it doesn't hang around too much at Colburn because as soon as it comes in, it pumps and goes. But we've been getting a lot of complaints about Colburn yeah. and the neighborhood behind it. Um, so it's definitely, you know, to Paul's credit, he and Doug have been working on every possible solution they can with these odor issues. Um, but I think in this case, the, we got to yeah. invest some money because it's just, it's not good quality for the people right. who live in that neighborhood and we need to do something to try to, whatever we can do and pump the dioxide in to try to treat it. I it even moved the carbon barrels. I had them closer to the vent stack. So it was like going right into the barrel right away. I moved them 20 feet over closer to the building. So it has a little bit more time. Uh, the last two days it's been pretty good, but the weather's been. Can you smell it outside though? On warm, hot days, yeah, you can smell it. So is, is there a significant, uh, what would the cost be to put that system in the pump station? Just for we don't, we don't have a price yet. He just, this just came up about. Um, not, oh. not this thing that's going outside, but who, whatever we do in our pump stations, what would it cost for that to be we'll put into there? Do you have any idea? Is it significant? Well, they, they would have to put it outside because they have no building. They got just a control cabinet outside and a wet well. That's all they have. Power, there's power going up the street, so we'll be able to tap it off one of the telephone poles that are up there because there's, there's one house at the end of the road. Uh, so they, there's, there's got to be power up there somewhere. So we're going to do a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are we looking at with the pump that was it? 110 uh, single phase? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not a three phase pump. service. Well, we'll just, I guess look into it and see what the whole thing price package would be, right? right. I mean, we'd have to get something in place before summer. Can you do solar? Or is it too much tree cover? Or no, Over there, it's, it's all trees. And I don't even think it would be an option. To, or maybe it would. Maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. I don't know how, what they sell for a package. That's why I wanted to see him today. We could we could actually discuss this. And I was going to take, he said he wanted to go look at it. And take a, they may have an option because if these things are made to be isolated somewhere, probably no power type of stuff. They might have something. Yeah. We'd, we'd have to get permission from the town, so. Because it just basically, it just basically yeah. squirts it in, right? Uh, yeah, so we tap, the, there's a manhole there uh, that we could run a line to, and then we just tap, do like a water tap to the yeah. force main, and it just pumps it into the force main. Mm -hmm. So when, you know, it'll just so keep on feeding the force main. You just time it, you cycle it. Yeah. It pumps and charges the battery. <laughs> and basically, actually you, you tweak it in so it pumps so many times a day, and so much a day. And that's what do we're doing now with the other one. Do you uh, yeah, have a location in mind? Uh, As an exact location? Curtis Road. Right. But 
Yeah, it's like the Department of Health. Yeah, I got, yeah, it's like where we ended up with the, the new force meeting. Three time meeting. So it'll be the end of their parking lot. If you go up to that dirt road, you'd see the end of their parking lot. It'd be right there. I mean, at least I feel better knowing that we have a funding source for that, you know? I, again, I don't know what it's going to cost, but yeah. I don't think we'll Does anybody, anybody no. talk to Matt of Amount Matt? She's calling about whether that would be okay. Because of the town owned land? Did you talk to anybody about that? Or you, uh, just the first year anyway? Be or about sorry, what was oh, that? placement because it's a town owned land. Because, because it's town owned land. We could t place it on your list. I know that. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so, did anybody talk to them and say they're, they're uh, okay with it? They didn't have a Would we have plan. to get permission from? We have to get permission from somebody. Just okay to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of confused. Yeah, kind of <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, well, is it a street it, opening permit? Like, does yeah, that need to go in front of, would that yeah. have to go in front of the board of selectmen to locate something on? I mean, I don't know. No, I think no. they would just go through you. Yeah, <laughs> so good to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it's a dirt road. Yeah, so see, yeah. what, uh, see what the cost is. Well, you don't have to yeah. check with like the highway. Oh, you don't charge the highway. Yes, now, yeah. Right? No, but like there would be no different. So there's no other, uh, no other issues going on that would preclude it from us from doing that. No, just I would just bear, uh, confirm that we do own that strip of prairies going through the woods. That's yeah. all. Yeah, if there's no other solution, we, we need to make sure the other stuff is under control. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's a that's a big problem yeah. right now. The bioxide is supposed to take care of the hydrogen sulfide. That's what so it's it's, if you're looking at fifty grand, I mean that's got to go for bid. No, I don't think so. Uh, um, yeah, I have that's what he, she said. So delicate. Delicate. I was joking, but I, I either way, it would be either um, three quotes, and that is basically sale bids at that point. Yeah. That's the amount of work you got to do for it. But do they have things for like these people? Well, can't obviously, do this? unless they're a sole correct. source, are there other companies yeah. that that treat do that, or is it? I I've only dealt with. Yeah. Yeah, they, well, they, yeah, we bought you both. Xylem, I mean, Xylem was a source. Was Sorry, have you ever dealt source? with, Sorry, dealt with this? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we put a lot of pump stations. Um, but you know, not so much as a standalone because usually you have the station so you can do it. Um, but the bioxide doesn't freeze, right? So, no. like, that's part of why it's easy to put outside. So, you're just keeping your equipment warm enough to last oh, yeah. longer. Is that something we could force Village to do? It's their force main that's creating the issue, right? Who owns the, do we own that portion of the force main? No, no they do. Is that private? Own, they own it. Oh, as far as I know, it's private. If it's private, then no, we probably can't tap it. We well, they're permission. causing an issue with my downstream pump station. Right, so, but yeah. so that we could make them do it then. If, it, if it's private and it's causing an issue for us, I would think we could make them do it. Well, that's it's Something it's probably a conversation out. worth having. Because if we don't own the force main, we can't, we wouldn't tamper with it. Well, in the past, we've made repairs to it. Interesting. So maybe have, is it Heritage? Is that who uh, runs that? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe have Could them come in again? And why would we be making repairs? We didn't know. Uh, right? Well, basically, when Alan was uh, commissioner, he, re he made repairs to the, 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 the gate valves. That were in the shoulder of the road and also in the street on Beach, you know, Beach Street and Colvin Road and uh, whatever's happened in the past. It's not no, that doesn't make it right. So, but yeah, yeah. We, it well, that's matter. the only reason why I said that's why we made repairs on it. Yeah, because it's in the street. If, if they own it, it's a, you know, we, we certainly can tell them of the issue and here's the s solution and then figure out how to go forward with that. Yeah. yeah worth having a conversation and then we we'll gotta look at how we look at prices and go from there. But it's good to get a quote before he, he comes in, I guess, because we know what we're talking about. Right. Four digits, five digits. So do you want me to hold off getting in touch with him until after we talk to Todd at um I'll, I'll call Todd tomorrow. Yeah. It's just I, a long weekend. I, and I think tee him up because he, he may not be able to make the next meeting in the Okay and just at, tell him we'd like to talk to him about the odor coming from I can't believe we can't get a price in two weeks. And a roundabout or a pad, and take it to them on those other pad type things, you know, the concrete pad thing, whatever. I mean, there's, there's ways to. No? How, how heavy is it? Oh, sorry, I misunderstood what you're saying. Um, no, no, the pad, you know, they put on the picture, yeah, AC units, the, yeah, the little hard fiberglass. Yeah. 
So, so um, yeah, because you're more talking about if you had if you had them do it and they were responsible, it would be on their property. All this discussion well, they talking about do it in their pump station. What's that? that? On their pump station, right? Is that what you're right, right yeah. there? Yeah. yeah. Well, we would. We if we have to do it, we have to inject it into the force main. But if they have to do it. They can pump it right. To, can drip it right drip into it the well, yeah. right into the wet well. Yeah, yeah. Which and that's would, way make more less sense expensive. Now, way less expensive, right. I would right. think. Yeah. But right. that'll be the plan. Get a quote and see if we can uh, come in to talk. Okay. You know, so maybe we'll we can. A call God. Yeah, and I'll email just Chris. Rent or buy one of their units and we'll just do it in there. <laughs> <laughs> in the toilet, drip in the toilet. <laughs> All right. Is that it? That's it. Yeah. Well, this one what, this brought up good. the uh, budget stuff. Did we have uh, generators scheduled for this year? <coughs> Which ones are going? Uh, we didn't schedule a particular one, but we budgeted 50000 for a generator. So um, that's really, I don't know if we're, I thought we were gonna be before we haven't had our AMP plan done. Right. Um, yeah. I don't know if, you know, do you have one in mind? Do you have, you know? We, we did we do a table and a chart on one, all one of the thing. generators that one done. So do you, oh, do you want to wait till we do our analysis of the town? Well, well we already do have a chart for one generator. Oh, yeah, I have a chart on And the ages and the conditions. I didn't know if you wanted to do that. I was just going to say the asset management is going to be funded, or hopefully will be Fiscal funded. Fiscal 26. Yeah, it'll be next it's, year. So it'll be a year awesome. from now when we start. All right, yeah. so I, had, I think the, the next two oldest ones were Elm Street and Audrey M. Are they smaller ones? Elm Street's pretty big. Audrey has a small one. I think we can get both of them for 50? Um, I'll have to call, I'll call um, Sherborne. Tell them there's a two for sale. A two for? Yeah, two for 49.99. Nice. Nice. Can you leave your old one in place? And we have a contract with them, too. Can you call your into the neighbor's house? I don't think so. Just put it on wheels and... Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I think that would be a no. <laughs> before we get into the progress out of Mass, where we're going to buy, we're going to put a temporary one over there. That was the plan. Why, why wait, right? Okay. Just, I, I, I just just don't. Yep. No, no I, I, I think that's... I'm sure, um, I'm sure I will be more than happy to... And actually, um, yeah, actually I had a note from today saying, do we order one now since it takes a while to ensure funding is available? Because remember it took us a lot, there was a long wait list mm -hmm. for them to well, come in. Yeah, it wasn't as long as everybody else, but it, it, it happened pretty quick. I mean, considering I think it was like eight months. Yeah. But still, eight, but we're in October and our funding ends in June 30th, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. So where we're at. Yeah, my, my generator was I ordered in April and it's not until January, so that's a diesel generator. Oh, you got a diesel? 300 kW. No, I had gas, but I'm going diesel. National Grid wanted 45 grand to enlarge the pipe, and that's not even excavating. That's just their fee. So we're going diesel. What about propane? I looked into propane, but diesel was... I just did the maintenance on the, the diesel fuel. Yeah. Maintenance on those stupid uh, natural gas ones. Horrible. Yeah. And the racket. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> How big are the fuel tank units? It's uh, 400 gallons. It goes 18 hours. May, maybe not. Maybe not. Five gallon cans. Another <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> half hour. <laughs> yeah, we've done it. Yeah. We've done it all right for Scuffer Trail. Oh. I get one of those little electric pumps. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're battery operated into the five gallon drive. All right. Correspondence? No. Complaints? We already talked about the complaints, yeah. Motion to adjourn. Uh, do we need an executive session? No. Um, but no, but at the next meeting, yes. But no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, executive. Uh, motion to adjourn, and I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Good night. Let me just call Dave.